Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root algebra problem. Square root of 100 divided by 10 minus square root of 99. So let's start. First of all, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this denominator 10 minus square root of 99 like this square root of we write this expression 100 divided by 10 minus square root of 99. We multiply this expression by the conjugate of this expression 10 plus square root of 99. Divide this expression by the conjugate of this expression 10 plus square root of 99. Next, square root of, we multiply this 100 by this 10 plus square root of 99. 100 times 10 plus square root of 99 divided by, by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This 10 minus square root of 99 times 10 plus the square root of 99 will become 10 squared minus square root of 99 squared. Next, square root of 100 times 10 plus square root of 99 divided by this 10 squared is equal to 100 minus and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with 99. Next square root of 100 times 10 plus square root of 99 divided by this 100 minus 99 is equal to 1. Now this expression is equal to square root of 100 times 10 plus square root of 99. By using this property square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b. This the square root of 100 times 10 plus the square root of 99 will become square root of 100 times square root of 10 plus the square root of 99. Next this square root of 100 is equal to 10 times square root of 10 plus square root of 99. Now we multiply and divide this expression by 2 like this 10 times square root of we multiply this expression by 2 2 times 10 plus square root of 99. And we divide this expression by 2. Next, 10 times square root of this 2 times 10 will become 20 plus 2 times square root of 99, 2 times square root of 90. 9 divided by 2. Next, 10 times square root of. Now, this uh, square root of 99, square root of 99 can be written as square root of 11 times 9. So, we split this 20 as we split this 20 as 11 plus 9. Like this, we split this 20 as 
11 plus 9 plus 2 times square root of we write this 99 as 11 times 9 divided by 2 x 10 times square root of 11 plus 9 plus 2 times this is square root of 11 times the square root of 9 can be written as square root of 11 times square root of 9 divided by 2 next 10 times square root of now we want to write this expression as a perfect square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a b is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this square root of 9, this square root of 9 as 3, we write this 9 as, we write this 9 as 3 squared and we write this 11 as, we write this 11 as square root of 11 squared. Like this, we write this 11 as square root of 11 squared plus we write this 9 as 3 squared plus this 2 times square root of 11 times this square root of 9 is 3 divided by 2. Next 10 times square root of now, in this expression, we have this square root of 11 as a and this 3 as b. And here we have 2ab square root of 11 as a and this 3 as b. And as this a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared. This square root of 11 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 times square root of 11 times 3 will become square root of 11 plus 3 whole squared divided by 2. Next, 10 times. Now, by using this property, square root of a over b is equal to square root of a divided by square root of b. This expression can be written as square root of square root of 11 plus 3 whole squared divided by square root of 2. Next, 10 times. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this square root. And in the numerator, we are left with the square root of 11 plus 3 divided by this square root of 2, square root of 2. Next, 10 times. Now, to make this uh, denominator rational, we multiply and divide this expression by square root of 2. And this square root of 2 times square root of 11 will become square root of 22. Plus this square root of 2 times 3 will become 3 times square root of 2 divided by this square root of 2 times square root of 2 will become 2. Next, now this 2 1 time and 2 5 times. 10. So, here we are left with 5 times square root of 22 plus 3. This is the simplest form. This is the final answer of this problem.